Hey everyone, and welcome to our deep dive today. We're gonna to be talking about something that I'm really excited about, and that's how much learning is available to us all today. Yeah. Just incredible amounts. It is amazing. Especially when you consider that learning used to be so limited, you know? Right. Like you'd have to go to a specific place. Yeah. Like a classroom mm -hmm. to learn from teachers who were there. For sure. Where you'd have to buy expensive textbooks. Yep. But today it's like, the whole world of knowledge is right there. It is. Right at our fingertips. And what's so cool is that so much of it's free. Oh, absolutely. Or at least really affordable. I know. I yeah. mean, it's amazing how much you can learn yeah. without spending a ton of money. Totally. And the variety of stuff you can learn is mind-blowing. Oh, for sure. I mean, anything you can think of. You can find it. You can find it online. Yep. From like the really practical stuff. The coding. Yeah. Coding or business skills mm -hmm. to stuff that's just for fun, like learning a new language or yeah. how to play an instrument. Exactly. <laughs> it's incredible. So I think our mission for this deep dive is to explore yeah. all these amazing learning opportunities. I'm with you. And kind of help people Definitely. navigate this whole world. It can be overwhelming for sure. Oh, for sure. There's so much out there. I know. And it's hard to even know where to begin. Exactly. Yeah. So if you want to give people like a yeah. starting point. Like a roadmap. Mm -hmm. And maybe highlight yeah. some of the best resources out there. Absolutely. And what I think is really interesting yeah. is how this really opens up opportunities for people. In what way? Well, it used to be that if yeah. you wanted to get a degree or something, mm -hmm. you had to go to a university. Right. Which could be really expensive and time consuming and let's be honest yeah not everyone has the means to do that exactly so. but now with all these online options mm -hmm. people can learn from anywhere yes at their own pace and often for a fraction of the cost it's incredible it is like yeah. it's like a democratizing knowledge i love that making it accessible to everyone right regardless of their background or circumstances so true so let's dive in let's do it where do we even begin well, a good place to start, I think, yeah. is with those massive open online courses. The MOCs? Yes, the MOCs. Have you taken any MOCs? I have, actually. Oh. I've taken a few on different topics. Like, like what? One on data analysis. Oh, nice. And another one on history. Cool. And so what was your experience like? It was really good, actually. Yeah. I mean, it's different from being in a traditional classroom. Sure. But I found the instructors to be really engaging. Mm -hmm. And the content was really high quality. Yeah. And one of the things I love about MOCs. What's that? Is that they cover such a huge range of subjects. They really do. I mean, you can literally find a MOOC on yeah. almost anything you can think of. It's true. From like computer science and data analysis. Things like history, mm -hmm. literature. You name it. Even creative stuff like right. writing photography, mm -hmm. music. It's amazing. It is. And what's really cool is that a lot of these MOOCs, yeah. they offer free access to the course materials. So you can basically... You can audit the course, yeah, learn at your own pace, and it doesn't cost you a thing. That's so cool. It is a great way to explore a subject mm -hmm. or learn a new skill without any financial commitment. And then if you decide you want like a yeah, a more formal recognition of your learning, right? A lot of MOOC platforms offer paid certificates. They do. Which can be really valuable sure. if you're trying to yeah. boost your resume or something. Definitely. Or even just for your own sense of accomplishment. Right. Like you've completed something, yeah. you've achieved a goal. And some of these MOOC platforms, yeah. they even offer specializations, which are basically- Bundles of courses yeah. that are all related to a specific topic. So it's kind of like a mini master's program. It is like a mini master's program. But often with a more practical focus. Yeah, for sure. Which I think is really appealing Definitely. to a lot of people. Absolutely. Now here's where it gets really interesting. Okay, tell me. Some of the most prestigious universities in the world yeah. are offering MOOCs. It's amazing. I know. So you could be learning from mm. world-renowned experts. From the comfort of your own home. I mean, how cool is that? It's so cool. Like you could take a course on... On the science of well-being. Yes. Taught by a professor at Harvard. Or a course on music theory. From Yale. The possibilities are... Endless. Seriously, endless. It's incredible to think about right now. how accessible this level of education has become. So true. And I yeah. think one of the things that makes these MOOCs from 
top universities. Mm -hmm. So great that is that the quality of instruction is usually top notch. It is. They're designed yeah. by leading academics and professionals. And they often incorporate like interactive elements. Yeah, like quizzes, assignment, peer feedback, all sorts of cool stuff to keep you engaged. Oh, exactly. And make sure you're actually learning the material. And not just passively watching lectures, you're yeah. actively participating. Right. Which is so important for learning. But you know, yeah. the world of free learning goes way beyond just MOOCs. Oh, absolutely. There's so much more out there. There is a whole universe of learning. Yeah, and so in this deep dive... Let's explore it. We're going to explore all of it. I'm excited. I am too. For those of you out there looking to gain expertise in a certain field, professional certifications can be a game changer. Oh, yeah. They show potential employers, you're serious. And committed yeah. to staying current in the field. Especially in fields that change quickly. Like tech. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So what are some examples of these certifications? Well, there's the Project Management Professional Certification. Okay, the PMP. Yep. And then in cybersecurity, you've got the CISSP. Mm -hmm. And I've heard of the CPA. Right, the Certified Public Accountant Certification. That's for accounting. Yeah. It's amazing how many different certifications there are. There are certifications for almost every industry you can think of. It's like a whole other world of learning. It is. And then there are platforms out there that are all about building specific skills. Like what kind of skills? Well, it depends on the platform. Okay. But some of them focus on things like creative skills. Okay. Like graphic design or photography. Cool. Others focus on tech skills, mm -hmm. like web development or data science. And what's great about these platforms is that yeah. they're often more hands-on. They are. Than traditional learning methods. Right. It's all about yeah. learning by doing. Which is so important. It is, because yeah, yeah. you're actually applying what you're learning right. as you're learning it. And that helps you retain the information better. Exactly. And one platform that comes to mind yeah. is one that focuses on creative fields. All right. They have thousands of courses on everything yeah. from illustration to animation to photography to writing. It's like a one-stop shop for creative learning. It is. And what's cool is that they have a lot of free resources available. Oh, that's awesome. So you can try out different courses and see what you like. Before you commit to a paid membership. Exactly. I love that. And then there were other platforms that are more focused on professional development. Right. Like one that offers courses on things like mm. digital marketing and project management. Mm. And what's really cool about that platform. What's that? Is that it's integrated with a professional networking site. Oh, that's smart. So you can showcase your skills and certifications. Yeah. Right on your profile. Makes it easier for potential employers to find you. Exactly. So it's a win-win. It is. For right. both learners and employers. Absolutely. But you know, something that often gets overlooked What's that? Is the educational potential of a certain video sharing platform. You're talking about YouTube? Yes. I mean, yeah. I know there's a lot of educational content on there. There is. But I also think of it as a place for right. like, entertainment and funny videos and stuff. Well, it's definitely both. Okay. But if you look beyond the cat videos and the music videos, mm -hmm. you can find some really amazing educational channels like channels from universities yes and from organizations and even just from individuals who are passionate about sharing the knowledge exactly and you can find videos on yeah literally any subject you can imagine like what well i've seen videos on yeah. history science yeah. math yeah. art music language you name it it's all there so it's kind of like a giant yeah free online university it is it's incredible and speaking of free online resources, yes, we should mention open educational resources. The OERs. Yes, the OERs. What are those again? Well, they're basically yeah. educational materials that are free to use, adapt, and share. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's like a global library of knowledge wow. that's open to everyone. So you can find like yeah. textbooks and lecture notes and mm. videos and all sorts of stuff. And the quality of these OERs can be really high. It can be because a lot of them right. are created by universities and organizations. That are known for their expertise. Exactly. So it's not just like what? random stuff that people are putting online. It's often very carefully curated and vetted. And there are even dedicated websites yeah. where you can search for OERs. By subject or level or format. It's like having a customized learning buffet at your fingertips. 
That's a great way to put it. It is because you can pick and choose yeah. the resources that are most relevant to you. And I think that's a really important point. What is? That it's all about finding the learning resources that work best for you. Absolutely, because everyone learns differently. And right. Everyone has different goals and interests. So there's no one size fits all approach no. to learning. It's all about finding what works for you. And luckily, yeah, there are so many options available today. There are more options than ever before. And we're going to keep exploring those options. <laughs> in this deep dive. I'm excited. Sometimes we just need to make learning fit into our busy lives, you know? Oh. We've all got so much going on. For sure. Work, family, social commitment. It's hard to find time to just sit down and right. focus on learning. Exactly. But that's where podcasts can be really helpful. Our podcasts are amazing right. for learning on the go. You can listen to them. Yeah. While you're commuting. While you're working out. Doing chores. Walking the dog. It's like multitasking. It is. But in a good way. In a very good way. And there are so many great educational podcasts out there. There are tons of them. I know. Covering every topic imaginable. Like, what are some of your favorites? Well, I really like the ones that tell stories. Oh, you too. Because it makes the learning more engaging. It does. And memorable. Yeah. And there's one hmm. that I've been listening to lately. Oh, yeah. That's all about Probably. the history of everyday things. Oh, cool. Like, yeah. where did forks come from? I never thought about that. Uh, but now I'm curious. Right. And how about audiobooks? Oh, audiobooks are great, too. Oh, yeah. Especially for auditory learners. People who learn best by listening. Exactly. And there are so many platforms out there I know. where you can find audiobooks. It's amazing. Like you said earlier, yeah. it's like having an entire library at your fingertips. So true. And some of these platforms even offer free audiobooks. They do. Which is amazing. So there's really no excuse not to yeah. give them a try. Exactly. So I think we've covered a lot of ground today. We have explored a whole world of learning. And it's clear that there's no shortage of nope. amazing opportunities out there. Yeah. yeah. So what will you learn today? The possibilities are endless. 